in certain conditions. So after the uh, history, physical examination, resuscitation, then come the labs. What are some of the tests that you're going to do in these patients who come with GI bleeding? First, you need to check the level of the hemoglobin. Was there a big drop in hemoglobin? What is the urea? Urea is usually elevated in case of upper gastrointestinal bleeding because the heme portion of the hemoglobin gets broken down and increases the urea portion in the BUN and the creatinine, the BUN goes up. Uh, iron ferritin and uh, iron transfer and ferritin is important because uh, in case of chronic anemia with iron deficiency, uh, we'll talk about it later on, but low iron transferrin will be low, uh, low uh, transferrin saturation and the ferritin, everything will be affected. So transferrin will be high, ferritin will be low and the iron also will be low. Liver function test to determine whether the patient has any ischemic hepatitis, ischemic, um, you know, or chronic liver disease, the features. Urine examination also to see if there's actual hematuria. PTINR, these are coagulation parameters which could also be affected in patients with uh, liver disease. So um, depending on the presentation, you can actually localize the site of the bleeding. So if it's hematemesis, chances are you're dealing with most likely an upper gastrointestinal bleeding. Elena, which is a black colored stool, a black tarry stools, can present anywhere when there's blood in the upper gastrointestinal tract. As it trans, uh, tra gets transported, as it gets transported through the entire small bowel and the large bowel, it gets you know, um, altered to become black tarry stool. Sometimes a right-sided colonic bleeding also can present with melina. Hematochesia, which is fresh blood in the stool, can happen, most likely happens from lower gastrointestinal bleeding. Sometimes when there's a rapid transit or a massive upper gastrointestinal bleeding from varices or a bleeding duodenal or gastric ulcer, when there's rapid transport of blood from the upper, from the upper gastrointestinal tract to the lower gastrointestinal tract, you will see uh, hematochesia in these patients. Pinkish blood in the rectum is um, another thing, usually means that it could be from a much lower source. Hemorrhoids can sometimes.